Recovering signals from below the noise floor is a challenge, but when the measuring device shares just a little information with the device under test, precision measurement well beyond the noise floor is easily achieved. The lock-in device for observing weak and noisy signals, or rather, lockdown, is an open-source lock-in amplifier which can take just that kind of measurement. A lock-in amplifier is an instrument that cuts out all the noise, leaving behind just the signal. It does this by forming an impossibly narrow bandpass filter. The narrowness of a filter is defined as its quality factor, with conventional filters typically capping out around a quality factor of 100. Lock-in amplifiers, on the other hand, can achieve an effective Q value north of 100,000. But how? Lockdown modulates its input signal with a reference clock, so that it can be recovered from the noise, and it's then able to shift just the signal of interest to DC. Filter that with a conventional low-pass filter, and you've recovered both the amplitude and the phase of the modulated clock signal, basically ignoring noise. So, let's see it in action. Here, we have an LED driven by the reference clock, so no need for further modulation. You can't see it blinking, but look at the oscilloscope. Just noise. Now, look at the lockdown software. As I dim the LED, you can see the amplitude go down. Now, you can't see it at all. We can do the same thing with sound waves, too. And since they're a little slower than light, we'll be able to see what the phase measurement is doing. Now, one of these is sending out a tone, and the other is picking it up. Let's move them apart a little bit. And you see, because the sound wave had to travel further, its phase with respect to the original reference clock changed. The quadrature demodulation lets us measure that. Lock-in amplifiers aren't just fun lab toys, either. They're important tools in photonics research, quantum computing, and even neurology. If you'd like to know more about how they work, how they're used, and how we made ours, go check out our project page over on hackaday.io. Link is in the description. If you want one for yourself, it's completely open source. You can download the files and make your own. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at our lock-in amplifier, and don't forget, go check out the project page over on Hackaday.